what this is. There is a motorcycle clutch inside this casing and then there is a lobe on a shaft and it is operated by this lever here and uh, there is one bearing here one here and uh, also bearings on the other shaft And uh, there is just a piece of very thick tube welded to the wheel and uh, then there are these sprockets which are for Honda Z50 mopeds and this is just 420 chain and uh, these sprockets are for 20 millimeter shaft and uh, I just ground the splines of the sprocket so I just welded it on this shaft over here. This can be of course ground off this weld if I need to replace something in here of course these bearings will last the lifetime of this thing but the clutch plates are something which might need to be replaced at some point they are wet clutch plates but I just try using it Without oil in the casing, of course, there are some gaps and the oil would leak out. But there is very small amount of slippage at the discs, so I believe those will last a long time. And this is just a cable that goes inside the cabin. This is the release spring. So let's look at the lever inside the cabin. So this is the lever. I haven't found a proper knob on here yet, but this has 12 millimeter threads. So those are available some shops and here is the system itself this larger spring is just to hold this lever on that side so it will stay in these slots and uh, this is just the cable mounting system. There is also a spring because if I if I made this space narrower this would be not as flexible to use but now it works quite well so this is pretty simple how this works 
in this further position the cable is pulled and uh, it disengages the clutch so it frees the rear axle and the turning is easy compared to a welded diff and when this is released on this position the clutch assembly springs push the clutch plates together and the rear axle is locked so in the next section of this video I will show how the rear axle works in the real life I couldn't get this tractor get stuck because it has snow chains and uh, it doesn't get stuck very easily so I jack one wheel up and uh, it will demonstrate exactly the same thing that happens when you get stuck mm -hmm.